character of Shur Tanaka itself, whom I think is a dancer's delight to portray. And she has been a very honest, lustful demoness. Poor thing got into this bigger picture and completely got messed up. That's not the only reason. Second and the most interesting and important reason for me to like Shurpanaka is my grandmother, Mrs. YJP. I don't know how many of you would remember that in Kamban Tarum Kachi, that was presented by Swami Chinmayananda in the Congress grounds, in that trade fair, for all those seven days, they presented the Ramayana and Dr. Mrs. YGP played the character of Shurpanaka. And she played it so realistically and so true to life that that's left an indelible mark in me. It's not the only reason. Third reason. In both Kambaramayanam and Ramayatubhyam Namaha, that portrayal, I don't even want to mention the name of the artist who portrayed it, but that portrayal of that character Shurpanaka by my Guru is something that only makes me remember what Rajaji said when he watched Sampurna Ramayanam and Shivaji Ganeshan played Bharata. Rajaji said, Bharatanaki and Vartakkal. For all of us disciples, devotees and fans of Dr. Padma Subramaniam, that character Shurpanaka stays in our minds forever. So Shurpanaka is a combo of my grandmother and my guru's portrayal. How can I not try it out? I have to. Because one is education, the other is entertainment. And I am an edutainer, I have to do both. And here, in Shurpanaka, the rasa that I want to portray, which is predominantly what I have seen and has evoked in me, and probably evoked in everybody there in the forest, is Bhibatsa, disgust at this ghastly, gory creature coming there, you know, just going after Rama and Lakshmana, alternating between the two. And when both of them say, not happening, she takes on her true form and goes in the most gory and ghastly way, most disgusting way to attack Sita. And when Lakshmana cuts her nose and ears off, she lets out this disgusting cry in the air that reverberates all through the forest and sends shivers down everybody's spine and total disgust prevails in the minds of Rama, Sita, Lakshmana and all, probably including the trees and birds and leaves of Dandakaranya, Shurpanaka. So Bibatsa through the Shurpanaka episode. <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> 